Hi, it's Leslie, 90 Day Fiance the other way. And we're talking about Jakaida and Sarver. And they've been struggling. They had a big blowout over, I don't even know what, vanity and Sarper's need to control her and her not wanting to be controlled, I guess. And Shakina has moved out, just staying in the local hotel though. And, but she had to just give it one more chance to see if it could be salvaged. Of course, of course. I mean, cause she's gonna cave and give in to Sarper, of course. But they meet up and I guess Sarper's got some things he can do to try to make Shakina understand how much he really wants to make it up to her and how he wants her to realize how much he loves her and what, that he will do anything for her. And he's making the ultimate sacrifice here. These bottles are trophies for Sarper. They represent women he's been with in his past and they've really caused a lot of issues. Okay. And so his way to make it up to her, I guess, is to destroy all of these bottles. Um, I don't really see the connection but it is something that she wanted him to do, so I guess he gets points for that. So they go to a junkyard and just start hurling the bottles. I didn't know you could do that. That sounds like this glass all over. It seems like a big old mess. But anyway, there they go, destroying his, his memories of his, his conquests of his past. Delete my past. Oh my god. <laughs> How does it feel? It is freedom. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Yep, her, and this was making Shekinah very happy. And then she got to throw one also. Okay. Break this one okay. for me. Yeah! I finally did it! Oh, you did it finally. Just wait right here. And she got a big hug for that, too. Oh, how nice. And why not? While he's at it, he's burning his black book of conquests. I guess it was just like X's. It wasn't names or anything. It was just like all the... Oof, that's so disgusting. But anyway, that, that alone would be enough to just keep it moving when I met him. But anyway. And then the next step in the process, they go to see the shrink together. And they discuss his anger issues and his need to control her. And I guess while she's becoming more strong and vocal, he's having a hard time with this. Um, and he's got to get over it, basically, she's kind of saying. Normally, she's so strong character, but to me, it's submissive. And when I see her strong to me, I have a fear, you know? She's starting to get a little rebellious to me. Oh, my God, she's not loving me that much. It really doesn't make sense that the stronger she gets, he thinks she's not going to love him. I don't really get that logic. I think it's she kind of just totally pegged this one. I think he just, he's always run his relationships and they've just fallen in line. And I think this is the one that isn't falling in line. So he's nervous because he can't control it. But, you know, but of course he just blames it all on the fact that, you know, he just loves her and he, he fears losing her. Fear of losing her makes me crazy. Fear of that she doesn't love me enough makes me crazy. But she kind of lets Sarper know where she's at. Well, you have the ability to make me happy, and yet you choose to make me very sad way too often. Oh, Sarper, you know what? Fear not, though. She's She will give in, and you will be back together before you know it. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, I follow this nonsense every week, so if you want to follow along, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you next week. Bye.